Comet R2 Swan just revealed an anti-tail. And what's interesting is that it's almost mirroring the anomaly we saw in 3i Atlas. Both are green, both have massive tails, both forming a sharp anti-tail. And Earth is literally positioned between these two objects. Maybe coincidence, but it is indeed unusual. People still think anti-tails are normal. They usually explain it away with the classic optical illusion, the orbital plane projection effect. But in the cases of 3i Atlas and R2 Swan, this is just simply not the case. The structure is pointing toward the sun, which is not what a simple line of sight trick would produce. Others point to an extreme example, Comet C2014UN271. Yes, that comet showed a subtle sunward feature, but that's not a reasonable comparison. UN271 is the largest comet ever observed, around 140 kilometers wide, compared to the 5 kilometer estimates for 3i Atlas. A body that massive absorbs far more heat and its outgassing becomes chaotic enough to nudge material in all directions, even slightly sunward. And more importantly, UN271 was 11 to 12 astronomical unit from the sun when this happened. Out there, solar wind is weak and dust can drift slowly and randomly. R2 Swan and 3i Atlas are 1 to 2 astronomical unit away, where solar wind is strong and absolutely should not allow dust to push toward the sun. So none of these explanations really hold up. Seeing pronounced anti-tails in both R2 Swan and 3i Atlas at this distance at the same time, that's anomalous. It deserves real observation not a quick dismissal.